Can't hear, this is over my ears. So, 2018 is almost spent, and like last year, I thought I'd go over my highlights of the year. So, at the beginning of this year, I set myself a goal to release a video every week of the year, so 52 videos over the course of the year. Unfortunately, I've not quite met that goal. I've, I've almost hit it. I've done really well, considering all the stuff that's gone on this year. I almost hit it, but didn't quite. Do I regret it? No, I don't regret it, because I had a laugh and had a lot of fun by myself and with friends. It was fantastic. So what are the top 10 videos I've done this year? Well, it all started back in January with the Mamiya 645 1000S. And um, although that's not my favorite video with the Ektar, I'm gonna pick the second one that I did that was in Brick Lane, where I go, Brick Lane, a street photographer's playground, packed full of street food, street art, bricks, that one. <laughs> I've got to try not to move in these chairs because they're really creaky. creaky. Creaky chairs on creaky table. The second video on my list would be the next one up, which is the Olympus 35RD. It's up here somewhere there. The Olympus 30, that one's broken. In fact, that is the one that it was recorded on that broke. My favorite camera. <sighs> So that was shot in Camden. That was one of the earliest ones I did. Certainly the first Olympus 35RD video I did. It was shot on JCH Street Pan 400, pushed to 1600. I really enjoyed making that video. That was, that was really fun and it was freezing. Both of those were freezing. The first one in Brick Lane, I was actually really ill. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I was quite ill. And then in that second one, it was just very cold. I also did the Zwico OM 35 millimeter F2.8. And we did that around the Barbican type area. That was really fun because when I did landscape photography, I like the really simple, very, almost there's not a lot there. And it, it really worked that sort of the urban alternative was down in the Barbican. I'll stick some photos. Up. I might just stick some random photos up from across the year as I'm talking, because it make more sense and give you something to look at other than my mug. The Zwico 28mm f2, now that was one of my favourite lenses and probably still is my favourite OM lens on the OM system, so I shot that on the OM1. That was with uh, camera face following around recording on the Ricoh GR2, which is why the video is really shaky and dodgy and crap. However, in terms of video content, certainly out of the first half of the year, that has the best content, uh, best photographs I've taken and was one of the most fun to, to shoot. You actually get to see a guy nearly punch me in that one, so uh, if you want to see that, go and check that one out. I'll stick all the stuff in the links below. It just makes more sense to do it that way than you trawling through all the stuff. One of my really favourite videos from the year is the one that uh, went out with Camera Face and Emily. It was the Olympus 35 RD's 40mm f1.7 versus the Olympus OM 40mm f2 pancake lens because they're both very similar lenses. In fact, the uh, Olympus OM one was based on the 35 RD one. So that's as close as you're going to get to another lens. 35 RD one is better though. That was fun. That was the first video we did with Emily. We yet to do another one. She's promised she would do another one. Emily, if you're watching this, you're going to come and do another video. And we're going to go out to London and we're going to do another video. Because it needs to be done. My next favourite video is, is the Rico GR2 still relevant in 2018? Part 2, which was actually shot before part 1. So that was quite a fun video to do. We went down to Brighton with Camera Face. We were actually using the um, gimbal. So he was using the gimbal, it was filmed on a, a Fujifilm X-T2, which is why it needed the gimbal. We don't need that set up now with the Olympus EM-1 Mark II because it's a fantastic camera. I'm not plugging this lens. I don't make any money, but it's a very good fucking camera. That was one of the favorite videos to do. That was, it's always fun shooting the Ricoh GR2. Not such a great day for camera face. He got a littering fine. Yeah, so that was fun. I got some great shots. And then that brings us on to summer. Another one, favorite one I made with the, uh, actually it was a Fujifilm one. On the X-T2, we did a Fujifilm 23 millimeter F2 lens shoot down uh, a walk from Little Venice to Camden. And it's called Big Trouble in Little Venice, and it is probably my favorite video to date. It was so much fun, and it was so silly. That's where you really see lots of the chemistry between uh, me and Camera Face. And I don't mean sexy chemistry. Yeah, so we're, we're having a laugh, we're having a banter, it's got some good outtakes. Some of the photos on it 
are a bit of a funny colour, but I think that's just because it needed a little bit of desaturation because the, the settings on the camera were quite saturated. Um, but it was a fun day, great shoot, and that's when Camera Face met his mortal enemy, the Canadian Goose. They got to a point where I was having to shoot videos on my own for a while, and I do that more often now. It, it does make sense. It allows me to be more creative, and it's not fair on other people for me to rely on them. The first one I did that was with the trip down to Hastings with the dog, and it was on the, uh, with the, for the Rolly Flex. On the Rolly Flex. If you don't own one of these, you need one. Get a TLR. Get a Rolly Flex. Get a TLR. Get a Rolly Flex. Get a TLR. Get a Rolly Flex. So much to make a song about that. And then I was lucky enough at the end of the summer to go on holiday to Finland. I did, I had a great time in Finland. I did three videos in Finland. And one of the best ones that I did from Finland was Sumen Lina. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name. However, that was done with my friend from college, Pete Thor. He's a freelance photographer in Helsinki. And we went out to the island. He basically did what Camera Face does and followed me around with the camera and filmed me taking shots. I did that on the Leica M6 and the Voigtlander 35mm f1.4, though I don't have that lens anymore. It's a lovely lens and I'll probably get it again actually for that camera. Yeah, and I think the reason why out of all my videos that's the most cohesive or one of the better ones to watch if you're new to my channel is cohesive. It's very cohesive. It's glued together, it sticks like fucking jizz. Get a holy flux. <laughs> It's a lot more cohesive, there's a bit of a flow to it, there's a bit of a story. Um, you have us on the ferry going across, some shots of the, the, the bay along Helsinki, and then he gets landing and then the camera following me, and then I sort of change films halfway through to a different film, so it stops becoming less travel, at the start it's travel photography and then it sort of becomes landscape. And um, I really enjoyed it, and I've made a print of one of those photographs that I've taken out there from the 35mm. It was Delta 400 uh, on the M6, and I really loved it. So that's I recommend seeing that video if you've not seen it and you like my stuff, you just happen to. I recommend go seeing that video. And the last one is the Olympus 35 SP at the Classic Boat Festival with Sir William Murdergirth. And he's called Sir William Murdergirth because he's got a very wide heart, huge heart. Mm. Again, very run and gun, that's me holding the camera that time. And we went on a boat trip down the Thames, so you see that, and there's some of that trip on the Thames. And I think at the time I did a lot of stuff on boats, because I did the stuff in Finland, and then I did the boat festival when we were back. But it was summer, and it's the best time to do videos like that. So what other things I've been up to this year? Well, obviously work, and I'm not going to talk about that. So, things what broke. Let's have a look. My list is... My 35 UC arrived, I say things what broke, the 35 UC arrived broke, un, broken. Uh, lovely camera, if you don't know much about this, it's the same as the 35 SP, except that it's just got a, well, it's a battery check light on the back. And it's got different, slightly different design, it's got dark plastic over here. I had a 35 LC that arrived that didn't work, and they said it worked and it didn't. Bastards. I had a 35 RC, that's the second one I've had, and it, it arrived broken, I had to send that back. I've now got an RC again, so you'll see another one, uh, you'll see another one of that in future videos. I had a 35 ED arrive. I'm not sure if this is broken, but it doesn't work at the moment because it doesn't have batteries in it. And um, it's unusual battery compartment. What, I'm gonna have to figure out what I can stick in there, but it, it's arrived and obviously it doesn't, it doesn't wind on a click. But this is actually um, a pretty special camera, so if I can get it working and do a proper video with that, I've, it's a fantastic little camera. It's a 38mm f2.8, and it's a very sort of traditional lens in the way that it's built and with the elements that are in it. But I'll talk about that another time. I broke my favourite camera, my 35RD. I've got another one because this camera is a fantastic camera. I want to get this one fixed because I actually slightly prefer this. What? Oh. Yeah, I put it in my bag and my all my other gear and was sitting on top of it and it's, it's just damaged it and it sucked. thought it was going to work then and it didn't work. Probably breaking it even more there. But yeah, fantastic little camera. But then you should use gear, you shouldn't use it sitting on the shelf like this. Broke my phone, I had a Huawei P10 Plus and I dropped that face down uh, while out shooting and he broke this one. Face down and he broke it while shooting, out using, in fact, shooting a video, was I shooting a video? No, I only broke it whilst out shooting 
and and so I had to replace that. Uh, I had a Polaroid SX70 that arrived broken that I had to send back. My car, my MG ZR died. I had to send that back. No, I didn't. What? Let's send a car back that's that old. I had to have that crushed. I fucking love that car. Do you know what? I think I'll do another video at some point that has like the top 10 outtakes, my favourite outtakes from my videos, because there's been so many outtakes from videos, and if you don't know my videos that well, when you get to the end of the videos, wait till after the credits, and there's usually one or two outtakes that are there, and it's always worth sticking around from that. Some silly stuff happens. This personal life had some very interesting things happen, some good things happen. I'm not going to talk too much about my personal life. Um, my sister passed away very recently. Um, I thought that was worth mentioning just because that's kind of the biggest event that's that sort of happened this year and it's very sad. Other stuff has happened but obviously nowhere near as bad as that. So question is let's lighten this back up again. So overall I would say 2018 was definitely a rangefinder year. Um, the Olympus 35 series of rangefinders i had a lot of them in fact i probably amassed a lot more of them to do more videos on them than anyone else has and you'll probably be seeing a lot more of that in the coming year got my leica m6 specifically for my trip to finland love that great camera i mean i made other videos as well i sort of did some more om videos but i branched out did some instant photography i did some more travel photography i did some of adapting um the OM lenses to digital mirrorless cameras. So I, I did do quite a few different things with videos, including a me miming along drumming video at the end of like the old Fujifilm Instax printer thing. And I'm, oh, other th big things that I've done this year include converting my black and white digital photos into color, and I've put that on my site. Uh, I've updated my website quite heavily. In fact, it looks really good, www.slylsr.com. That is not a shameless park. So it basically goes through what I'm doing this week, uh, other things I've done, there you go, what's arriving, what's coming up. It's got my articles, so I write articles every week and I stick them on there. Photography, this evolves throughout the year. Deliberately limited how it's gone, I've changed the layout a little bit. Uh, this one is from Sumen Lenya. This is just a little images with little stories that will go along with it and little information that goes along with it. Q&A videos, so every quarter of a year I'm going to do Q&A videos. I've already done one fairly recently that had a lot of traffic come in from outside about the Ricoh GR3 and they got a bit frustrated because they all just wanted to hear about the GR3 and weren't interested in me because they don't know me and I've only got like 300 subscribers. Anyway, but if you want to subscribe, do it. And if you don't want to do it, subscribe anyway. But yeah, if you want to send me questions for my next Q&A, if you go on to www.slysr.com, there's a contact page and you just fill it in. Yeah. And then you just put in your message and then you click submit and then I received that. So that's that's the easiest way. I mean, you can put, still put the comments in the video and I'll answer, but or try to answer. Um, but then that's the best way to do it because then it gives me more content for the Q&A. Uh, it's a lot easier to bunch everything together and answer them than going through and answering the same thing over and over again. Oh my God, this is making me itchy and sweaty. These are really bad if you're bored. Ah, some more interesting things that I've done in 2018. I've, as you probably know, if you followed me fairly recently, and the videos from the start of years have evolved, certainly not just in quality of content, but in quality of the actual video itself. When we started out shooting, it was on the X-T2 with camera face just following me around. There's no IBIS, there's no stabilization in that camera whatsoever. It's really shaky. And then you've got times where it's died and we've had to use a GR2 and that's even more shaky and the video is crap because it's not built for video, it's a stills camera. Then we moved into, from Fuji over to Micro Four Thirds, over to Olympus. Firstly onto the EM5 Mark II, which unfortunately was not quite good enough for video. It did have image stabilization, which was handy, but when you're walking along with that camera, you've got lots of um, rolling shutter. It's fantastic if you're recording video and you're still and you're just moving it very slightly, but when you're doing the run and gun approach that we have, it was just not appropriate and I had to upgrade and then I got the beast that is the Olympus EM1 Mark II which I'm filming this on right now which is one of the best cameras I have ever owned and that's not me I don't get any money from Olympus I'm not blah 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 but at the image stabilization and the dual image stabilization on the 12 millimeter to 100 millimeter f4 is pro lens 
and the EM1 Mark II when they're together they have a dual IS system so it's five image axis stabilization and then the stabilization in the lens and that's handy for walking around it's still going to get a bit of shake it's not like a gimbal it's as near as damn it and it's easier to walk around with a camera in your hand following someone than it is with a gimbal massive gimbal with a camera on it following someone around um it's been fantastic and not only has it been fantastic for that but it's been an amazing stills camera so much so i decided to get more than one lens i think the first lens i had was a panasonic 14 to 140 the image stabilization wasn't great and i wanted this one because i wanted the dual as but the images were so good and it's such a good camera that i decided right this is the system i want to keep and invest in because at that point i was still searching i was still going from i went from nikon which I originally used and then I moved over to Fujifilm and then now I've moved over to Olympus uh, digital cameras and I picked up the uh, Olympus 17mm f1.2 pro lens which is all metal sturdy it's got the manual clutch if you need it which is a fantastic lovely beautiful little lens but yeah that system we've moved over to so you've seen the quality of the videos get better as they've gone along in terms of the actual videos as not just the content, which has been fantastic. And uh, I've, I've finally found the system that I'm, I'm using for that and I'm quite happy with. So you will, in 2019, you will be seeing a lot more camera videos. Yeah, so 2019, you'll be seeing a lot more Olympus OM lenses coming. You'll see the Olympus 35 series rangefinders. You will see some more medium formats. Uh, you will see, you will see more adventures. You'll see more travel. You might see some new people. You might see some old people. So I'll do a 12 to 100 f4 IS Pro lens review because I've had that ages now recording video and photographs and that's a fantastic lens. In fact, the best sort of tele zoom lens that I've ever owned. It's really impressive. So I'll be covering that. I've had it long enough now to warrant a proper review and I've used that continually. I'm not the kind of person that sells you stuff or they have it for two weeks and it's gone. They have it for a month or two. It's gone. I use that week in, week out. It is my main lens for recording video and my main photography lens. Hopefully you will see some macro. Uh, I've had people wanting the 50 millimeter F 1.2 and I'll definitely get that lens just not gonna buy it at the moment because people want like 300 350 pounds for it that lens only worth about 250 pounds don't buy stuff when it's overpriced because you're feeding you're feeding the you're feeding the you're making people rich when you don't need to do it don't fucking do it don't buy expensive stuff when it's expensive and people stop ripping other people off stop ripping photographers off it pisses everyone off and it ruins it for people that actually use the equipment yeah so hopefully you'll see a better video production nothing fancy just better than what it was when i started you'll have a more consistent year this year has been uh, just the, the content i feel that the content's been good but the the visuals haven't been so great and it's suddenly got or it's slowly gotten better over time and now i've got the sort of setup that I want, the kind of setup that I need to make decent videos. I think that now you will see more consistent videos next year. I don't know why I keep doing this. Oh, and need I forget the fucking, the biggest thing about 2019 that I will do is obviously I'm going to get the Ricoh GR3. So I'll be getting that, I'll be using that, I'll be reviewing that, there'll be several videos on that, including versus the Ricoh GR2. As about that. And then I can have more people that don't watch my channel get pissed off with me. <laughs> Next year is Olympus's 100th year anniversary and they will be really doing some interesting things next year obviously i'm not in the no i don't know olympus i do all your old lenses and i'm using all your equipment if you'd like to give it to someone that actually uses it and someone that will fucking put it to good use over the next year then i'm your man i'm not getting anywhere am i they're never going to give me anything so Olympus next year are going to be making some strides. I mean, Olympus have always been innovative. They're not, they're going to pull stuff out their ass. It's going to be a big deal. I'm interested to see what they do and what they come up with. Obviously for me, the camera I'm looking forward to is the Ricoh GR3. But since I'm now invested in digital Olympus and not just their entire range of film cameras, I am also really interested to see what they do there and in that direction because they're, they're a very good company and yeah, I think that maybe they should start listening to the people that use their stuff a little bit more than people that are just trying to sell stuff, especially ones that may have bowed mouthed them for no reason. Um, yeah. I know a lot of people that watch my channel mostly watch it for the vintage Olympus stuff 
and that's fair enough you're not going to stop seeing that you're always going to see that i've got plenty of content i can do that for that for a while you will see yeah I, hopefully you, you're just going to see some in, more interesting things on this channel and it just get more interesting and why have i changed hat i wasn't in this hat before i wouldn't mind a like a cue can't afford it wouldn't mind it but you can tell me what you want to see you can either leave comments below or if you go onto my website onto the contact page and send me a message i collect that for my q a and it, it allows me to accumulate things quicker through the website because it's all done in one place put your information there what you want to see within the next year and the coming months i don't get paid for anything it's all off my own back i buy the equipment myself i use the equipment myself uh i know i review all the equipment so it's it's not one of these things where oh i'll, I'll just go out and ask this company for this or this shop for that it doesn't work that way i have to get it myself so i really appreciate it and thanks to the subscribers that have jumped up i've doubled in subscribers this year and that's not necessarily important to me but the thing that shows is people are finding these videos interesting the sheer amount of comments and questions that i get show that it it's worth me doing these videos so leave me a comment on there so www.slightlsr.com i'm also thinking about doing podcasts next year it'd be fantastic to get that up and running i've been talking about it for a long time with uh, will but um perhaps i can change the guest I mean, I'm looking at doing it quarterly, so every three months, just do like a, a video podcast, have someone else, and we come and we chat and we discuss what stuff we're using, cameras, photography, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for watching this video. I know it's been a very long video, and I'm anyone that's still watching at this point. Thank you very much. Thank you to all my subscribers. Please subscribe and like the video if you like the video or you've watched it this long or you just haven't subscribed, just do it. I'm babbling on now. But uh, yeah, visit my website. Keep an eye out for the content, there's a lot more coming, and um, I will see you in the new year. I'm Slay Lissar, have a good one.